YouTube was happening. We back again. I know it's been a little bit of a hiatus, but we back again with another installment of the full strength. If you're new to the full strength, we unbox Jordans, the occasional Nike, the occasional designer piece. And we ask the million dollar question, is it worth the full strength being full strength being that is retail uh, price? Today, we're going to be looking at the wet cement fours. This one I caught on um, the third, no, the second shock drop, one of them shock, or not shock drops, uh, restocks. Caught it on the second or third restock, you know, and, you know, in the initial drop, I was kind of on the fence. And I think after the first restock, I was, you know, I kind of was thinking about it. And then the more I kept looking at them, the more I started to feel them. And I really thought to myself, what would they look like with the white laces in there. Now, I don't think they come with white laces. Let's put that to the side right there. Um, I don't think they come with white laces. I think they come with some gray laces. But, you know, I'm a sucker for cool grays. And to me, you know, and I know these ain't no cool grays, uh, technically, as far as the name, but gray shoes with the white sneaker or the white laces, rather, uh, are pretty hard to me. So we're going to take a look at that. And we're going to compare it to another all gray shoe. Y'all probably know what, what, what I'm talking about. And we're going to see if these are one of those rare non-Nike Air Jordans on the back to actually be talking about something. And you can really put it in the pantheon of top tier. We'll say top tier uh, Jordan 4s. Um, so without that being... You know, let's, let's just get right to it. So, box. First thing on the box here. It's got a nice tactile kind of feel. Um, haven't really felt a Jordan box that has that. And then the Jumpman here is glossy. So, really feeling the box. This is probably one of the best original boxes that I've seen in a long time. Got the Jordan 4. Size 13. And then you got your traditional branding on the top. Or at the bottom, I'm sorry, that you would normally see all your copyright stuff and all of the uh different logos. Now this is I haven't I haven't popped the lid on these, so I'm seeing them in real time right as y'all is seeing them. So let's see what they're talking about. All right, lid pretty much look the same. Actually got some decent wrapping. And they wrap each individual shoe. Let's see. All right, well that's different. Let's take that off. Okay. Feels premium. Is this it's not suede? Is this suede? Can't really tell what that is. It's either suede or new buck, but it's not really. It's not really changing the the color when I swipe my hand across it. I'm, so we're gonna say this is new buck. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm not real sure, but it definitely feels premium to me. Now, I wish the jump man here was white. I wish they came with with a white jump man. Maybe even this whole thing be white, and the laces be white. But other than that, I thought they'd be a little harder in person. This netting almost kind of gives you a crocodile kind of feel, not the traditional netting. So I mean, I don't hate it. It's your old school netting there, your classic netting. Um, again, I don't know what they call that. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. But I'm really not going to make my judgment on these, whether I'm even going to keep these, until I put the white laces in there. So let's get the other shoe out.
Definitely like the cut. Got a nice, got a nice slope there. Jump in on the back. Really wish it was Nike Air. And got a little bit of a what you call that pattern, uh, pattern splash or something like that. My bad. Knocking my tripod. But again, just a just a plain gray shoe. Now let's take a look. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna lace these up with the white laces. And let's see, does any other laces come in this? All right, so you don't get no other laces. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna put the white laces in the left shoe. We're gonna keep the right shoe the same. And then we're gonna make our final judgment. All right, so we back. Now this is what it's gonna look like with your white laces. And I really do wish you had maybe a white jump man on the back here and that maybe at least the jump man was white, maybe even if it was outlined in white. You feel me? Um, the gray is just, it's just a little too neutral. You feel me? You, you need something to make it pop. You feel me? And they, they, there needed to be some white on this shoe somewhere. You feel me? So that's why for me, um, that was my intention when I bought them, that I was going to have to switch the laces out to white. Speaking of which, let's compare it. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side to the one of the best gray shoes. You feel me? Let's move that to the side there. Now the grays on this white cement, or I'm sorry, this wet cement rather, it's a little darker than your cool gray 11. You feel me? And again, I don't know if, if it's the, the dark gray hue here that could be, then it's just me. That could be throwing it off. I mean, it's it's clean, but but it's not. I can't give it ten out of ten clean. That's just me. I can't give it ten out of ten clean. You feel me? Um, if we if we looked at it side by side to, next to the military force, which I guess they, I'll see if I can pass that in. Um, I still don't know that I would take these. You know, over a over a military four, you feel me? Now again, these aren't cool gray fours, so I'm not trying to make this a comparison video between a cool gray eleven and a cool gray four. But the wet cement colorway put me in the mind frame of that cool gray, and I feel like this will be a shoe that it'll kind of it'll grow at least on me. It'll grow on me in terms of um, kind of like when I had the cool gray threes. The cool gray threes, when they came out the first time in 06, 05, 06, whenever that was, they really weren't a hit like that. They was limited to begin with. But, you know, even when they retroed, I don't even think they sold out again when they retroed. So, but those are one of my all time favorite shoes. You feel me? I feel like over time, this could become that. You know what I'm saying? Now, do I have a dent on my shoe here? I don't know. Nike, what's up with the quality control on that? I might need to holler at them. My first time seeing it, I have to rewind the video and see if my just had that prior to. This one is straight. But uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to see about that. But anyway, let's get to the mean about the question. Are these worth the full strength if you can get them? Now, we, I know that they're sold out. Let's say if you can catch them on a restock. Or... If you're feeling them, should you bite the bullet and pay resale? Let's go ahead and get the cool gray 11 out of the way. I'm going to say definitely not worth, definitely not worth resale. Given, again, I don't have my tablet, so I can't really look up what the prices are. But if you over 250 which I think I was 250 after tax getting it from Nike, 
you're better off if you're thinking about tricking off resale on something like this, putting that towards something else that's coming out later in the year or even coming out in 2025. There's, there's, there's so many options coming out that resale shouldn't even really be in your lexicon anymore. You feel me? But if we're just talking about straight retail, if you can snag them, if you can catch them on a restock, or maybe you can catch somebody that's really just trying to off their pairs, they didn't like them or whatever, I can give it the stamp of approval. I can give it the stamp of approval. Minus a dent. Now, if you got a dent in yours, then no. Hell no. But, again, I, I really do think it's one of them shoes that it's going to get better with time. You feel me? Um, because again, it's, it's something that maybe I'm just not seeing it right now, but the, the shoe is premium. Let me go ahead and say that it, it feels premium. It feels much better than this trash here. We've already talked about this trash here. These feel cheap. You know, I hate to dog them out like that, but these, th this was a, hor this was horrible execution on Nike's part, right? These here, they feel great. They feel solid. It feels like premium materials. You feel me? This this doesn't feel cheap. You, and you have let's take the let's take the paper out. We'll wrap this up. We'll look at the insoles. Take the paper out. Yeah. So you you got none of that toe box creasage. So you're going to be good there. Be curious to see how these wear if they wrinkle in the tote box at all. Take out the inserts to see what those look like. Just a simple gray insert. Just a gray with a dark gray jump man. And you got nothing on the inside there. So... We can give it the stamp of approval, but honestly and truthfully, given some of the, the fire, let me put that in there, given some of the fire that's coming out in the coming months, I mean, y'all y'all have already seen it, I know 2025, there's no need to pay resale on nothing, you feel me, because you're going to get a bunch of chances. So let me know what y'all think on this one, is the wet cement worth the full strength that y'all picked this up, what y'all think of this one, is this one going to age well, is it going to be something that you know, they're going to look back on and be like, ah, no, nah, I really wasn't hitting on nothing. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Shout out to everybody that's been commenting, liking, subscribing. And again, we're getting a little bit more into the later part of the year. So, you know, there's a little more heat coming. And, um, you know, we're going to try to pick them up as we can. And we'll, and we'll see what Nike's talking about. But uh, I'll holler at y'all on the next one.